Hey guys, so it's our first day back from vacation and Grayson has been playing with his little dump truck. He has just been sitting there putting balls in that hole for the past five minutes. Were you having fun? I knew as soon as I said something he was going to stop. Wow. I'm reunited with my baby. Say hi. I missed him so much. It was so exciting to see him yesterday. He actually ran up to Anthony first. <laughs> and Anthony was the first one who got a hug from him, but then he ran up to me, so that was good. So we're back now. We're just trying to get back into the swing of things. I've been unpacking, putting Grayson's clothes away. I gotta do laundry. Today is actually my dad's birthday, so a bunch of family is coming into town. We're gonna meet up for dinner tonight. Grayson is loving being reunited with all his toys. Push it, push it in. He, this is the first time I've seen him actually like push the balls through the hole. He's never done that before. Push it in. He wants to get it out. There you go. Felix is always in the background. Grayson has been trying to chase after him all day today. We had so much fun on vacation. It was so nice to get away for a couple days, but it's actually really nice to be home, back in the swing of things, back with my Grayson. I missed him so much. And um, yeah, now we're just gonna, you know, hang out for the rest of the summer. No more trips planned as of yet. Um, but <laughs> you're just laying on mama. It's just been laying all over me. Yeah, I got him in this really cute, it's like a summery outfit. I love this. The pants are a little big on him, as you can see. <laughs> I missed him so much. That trip was the first time that I've been away from Grayson for more than a day. Before that, I had only gone one night away from Grayson when I did a girls trip with my, um, <laughs> with my mom and sisters back in the fall. Um, other than that, I've been with him every single day. So I went, I bet, I think it was like six days without seeing him. And it was so crazy. It was so sad. I miss him so much. I missed you. He didn't seem to really, like, be too sad that I was gone, though. He's still too little to really, like, understand what's going on. So it was really nice that my mom and then Anthony's parents could watch Grayson for us for a couple days. And, um... It was so awesome to be reunited with him. But yesterday was like the longest day ever. It was just a full travel day. We traveled all day. We started at uh, 9.30 in the morning and then we didn't get back home until 10 at night. So it was almost a 12 hour travel day with you know the two hour difference in, Cal in Colorado. But it was a long day. We did car to the take the car back. Then we took a shuttle to the airport, then the airplane, and then we had to take a shuttle to our car. And then we had to drive to Toledo and drop off my brothers. And then we had to pick up Grayson. And then we had to drive back to Columbus. So it was a very, very long day. But we are very happy to be home. And I don't know what we have planned other than um, just hanging out for the rest of the summer. I want to take Grayson to some more splash parks and I went to no more library times. It's seeming like Grayson is finally on that one nap a day schedule, which is scary, but at the same time, it's exciting. It's scary because I'm so used to that two nap schedule and just having like two hours and then, uh, you know, having those breaks break up my day. And now it's just a one hour or I mean, a once a day, three hour nap. So it's scary. But then on the other hand, it's exciting because now I feel like we can actually like go to things in the morning because most of the story times at the library are in the morning. A lot of the play groups with the moms group I'm a part of, they're in the morning. So I feel like we're finally going to be able to like do things now so right now his um nap schedule is he just takes one nap from usually like 11 until 2 2 30 and then of course he's still sleeping great at night he sleeps um 7 7 30 at night until about 7 38 in the morning so it's awesome what do you got gray is it your book 
He's loving being reunited with all of his toys. He hasn't seen these toys in like a week. So it's all new to him again. I have been noticing he's been doing a lot more independent play, which is super fun to watch. I have a hard time letting him struggle with trying to figure out things out when I could just intervene and help him within two seconds. So I'm struggling with letting him just figure things out. <laughs> he doesn't want to get his fingers out of his mouth. He's getting tired. It's almost his nap. And then Mama can do laundry. I miss you, my baby. I miss you. Oh, he's getting tired. I is for yak. <laughs> and Z is for zebra. He loves this animal book. And yak. He thinks he, I'm saying yak. So he goes yak whenever we see the picture of the yak. Right? Y is for yak. Ack. <laughs> it's so cute. S is for squirrel. T is for toucan. This has been one of his favorite books for a long time. <laughs> y is for yak. And Z is for zebra. I think the yak is his favorite animal. <laughs> he also, you like this one? Oh, it, the pages are stuck together. U is for unicorn. And V is for Vol. He's like, yeah, whatever. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Great, you don't need both slices. <laughs> Here. Okay, okay. Jeez. This kid has recently decided that he loves apples. Apple, he can say it too. He probably won't right now since he's got his apple. He's trying to say it. But apple, that's right. He loves apple. I've tried cutting it up into little bits for him, but he only likes it when it's a slice. Because he's a big boy. I'm not sure if I should be taking the skin off of it or just leaving it. Is that an apple? I'm still struggling with trying to get Grayson to actually eat meals. I just gave him like some chicken for lunch and he didn't touch it at all. I gave him pineapple and he ate the pineapple, but he did not eat the chicken. So I'm really struggling to get him to eat. <laughs> but he's liking these apples. Yeah. Apple. Hopefully they won't make too big of a mess. And there he goes. Oh, coming back. 